Hi, I'm Deronda and today I am going to show you how to make this hearty, creamy potato soup. Fast and easy to make. You're going to start off with about four cups of diced potatoes and I will show you how to dice that here in a few minutes. Also, you're going to need two cups of chicken stock, a half a cup of onions chopped, one half cup of carrots chopped, one half cup of celery chopped, one fourth cup of whipping cream. Now you can substitute for just a chicken broth or water. You do not need to use it if you're watching your calories. Also one tablespoon of canola oil, one teaspoon of butter, and also salt and pepper. You can salt and pepper your potato soup the way you wish. This is how we're going to chop the potato. Um, you're just, they're medium sized potatoes. I've already gone ahead and peeled it and make a slice in the center of your potato. That way your potato can lie flat when you begin cutting it in cubes. Cut it one, two times in equal portions and then go ahead and cut it one, two, three, four. And there you have it, your diced potatoes. All right, we can do it again. Cut one, two, then just turn it around one two three four and now you have your diced potatoes um there's about four cups of diced potatoes um here that we're going to use in our potato soup i've got my heavy saucepan heating on medium high i'm going to add my tablespoon of canola oil add your celery your onions and carrots, give it a quick stir, and let these sweat for about five minutes before adding your potatoes. All right, five minutes are up. Um, just make sure that you don't burn your celery and carrots, but that looks about just right for me to now add the potatoes. These uh, cute potatoes are about four cups. Add them right into your celery and carrots. Give it a quick stir. Now it's time to add your chicken broth. Okay, I'll it right in there. That's the noise you're going to get. And then add your salt and pepper. Add salt and pepper to your liking. I add about a half a teaspoon of salt and a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. And wait for this to come to a boil. Alright, the potato soup has now come to a boil. Turn the heat down to medium low and give it a cover and let it cook. I checked my potato soup after about 10 minutes of cooking. Um, it looks like the potatoes are cooking very quickly. It has a very gentle boil on it right now. Um, and really to check to see if your potatoes are um, completely cooked, you just want to take a fork and see if they're fork tender. Now if that were to tear apart, you will know your potatoes are fork tender and ready to add the rest of your ingredients. I'm going to let it cook for about five more minutes. My potato soup has cooked for about 18 minutes. It looks like it's pretty fork tender. Check your potato. Give it a taste. This needs a little bit more salt, so I'm going to add a little bit more salt and a little water to thin it out a little bit. Okay, about another teaspoon of salt, and I'm going to add about a half a cup of water at room temperature. And give it a stir. Yeah, that's more like the texture I'm looking for. Now, if you want your soup even thinner, add more liquid. If you want it less salty, don't add salt. If you want it more salty, add more salt. While the potato soup is warming up a little bit, I mash the potatoes up against the side of the saucepan so I can have this really hearty thickness to my potato soup. I do this to about half the potatoes. It's time to add the 
whipping cream, and your butter. So add it right in there and give it a quick stir and look how wonderful and creamy your potato soup becomes. Time for serving. Time to dig into my potato soup. I have added bacon and chives and sour cream to the top of my potato soup. And if you don't like it, don't add it. Look at those hunks of potato. The smell is wonderful, creamy. The potatoes are perfectly cooked along with the carrots, onions, and celery. And the combination of all these flavors together can't be beat. Thanks for watching. This is Deronda with Foods 101. And please subscribe. And don't be afraid to give it a try. Mmm.